binafsi kutoka moyoni mwangu mimi na kushukuru wewe mfuatiliaji wa Teacher TZ ambaye unatufuatilia kila siku na kila notisi tunazoziweka hapa mtandaoni. Leo tunakutana tena kwa lengo la kuweza kuangalia kipengele cha slave trade. Tunaangalia kipengele cha abolition of slave trade. Abolition of slave trade. Iki ni kipengele muhimu sana ambacho huja sana katika mitiani, sio kwa olevo wala sio kwa advance. Ni kipengele ambacho ni muhimu kuzingatia sana kukisikiliza kwa maana kitakusaidia sana na utapata majibu ya maswali yako mengi ulionayo. Leo tutaangalia nini maana ya abolition of slave trade. Tutaangalia ilianza mwaka gani na pia tutaangalia reasons for abolition of slave trade. Sasa naomba tuanze kwa kuangalia introduction yake. Tunasema the first European country to abolish slave trade was Britain in uh, 18, 1807. Also forbidden the practice of slavery in all British colonies in 1833. Nchi ya kwanza kuondoa uh, slave trade kupinga slave trade au kuacha biashara ya watumwa ilikuwa ni nchi ya Uingereza mwaka wa 1807 na kufikia mwaka wa 1833 tayari Uingereza ilikuwa ime, imezuia kuuza watumwa katika makoloni yake yote Reason for abolition of slave trade is still controversial which led to the rise of two school of thought which were Eurocentric historian who believe that the abolition of slave trade caused by humanitarian reason and the Afrocentric reason who believe that the abolition of slave trade was caused by economic reason mpaka sasa sababu kuu ya kuondoa au kuacha kuuza watumwa kuacha ku biashara ya watumwa haijafahamika lakini uh, kuna mitazamo miwili ambayo inazungumzia sababu za kuweza kuacha kuuza watumwa sababu za kuacha biashara ya watumwa Mtazamo wa kwanza ni ule mtazamo wa kizungu unaoitwa Eurocentric historian uh, Breves pamoja na ule wa Kiafrika ambao unaitwa Afrocentric historian Breves. Kwa hiyo tutaangalia hawa wazungu wenyewe wanasema sababu yao ni nini ya kuweza kuondoa vita ya uh, ku, kuondoa slave trade na tutaangalia pia waafrika wenyewe wanasimamia wapi kwamba ni sababu zipi zilizosababisha kuondoa kwa uuzaji wa watumwa biashara ya watumwa The economic reasons for the abolition of slave trade Sasa wa Afrika Eurocentric view uh, Afrocentric view sorry mtazamo wa Afrocentric view ambao ndio mtazamo wa Kiafrika wenyewe unaamini katika sababu za kiuchumi unaamini kwamba sababu kuu zilizosababisha kuondoa kwa biashara ya watumwa zilikuwa ni sababu za kiuchumi sababu ya kwanza wana, wanasema kwamba the first reason sasa ambayo imesimamiwa na afrocentric view ni kwamba industrial revolution in Europe. Sababu ya kwanza ni industrial revolution in Europe. Industrial revolution in Europe. During the 18th century European nations invented new machines which produced quality and cheaper goods in the industries. Slaves become useless whereby activities which were done by many slaves replaced by machines especially in Britain. Ah wana, wanasema kwamba industrial revolution in Europe ilisababisha kuacha kuuza watumwa kwa sababu ndicho kipindi ambacho machines zili uh, introduceiwa. Ndipo machines zilianza kutumika katika viwanda. Asa machine kwanza kutumika katika viwanda maana yake ni kwamba watumwa wakakosa cha kufanya na mashine moja inafanya kazi ya watumwa zaidi ya mia. Kwa hiyo tayari watumwa wakakosa soko na machines zikaanza kufanya kazi. Hence European nations abolished slave trade in order to use slaves as a labor and source of market in the African continent. Example, British stopped the slave trade in order to expand the market for her finished goods in West Africa. Kwa hiyo ikaonekana kwamba watumwa hawana maana tena kule viwandani badala yake zitumike mashine. Watumwa wenyewe walitumika katika masuala ya kutafuta uh, market, kutafuta market, wakakosa soko katika viwanda sababu ya kwanza ni industrial revolution in Europe. Sababu ya pili iliyosababisha uh, abolition of slave trade ni the competitive of sugar production between the British and the French. Computer, competitive or competition. The competition of sugar production between the British and the French. The competition of sugar production between the British and the French. At first British sold their sugar for high price because they monopolized the sugar market. 
sababu inasema kwamba sababu ilikuwa ni, ni ile mvutano ushindani uliokuwepo wa kuzalisha sukari kati ya nchi ya Uingereza pamoja na nchi ya Ufaransa ushindani uliokuwepo uzalishaji wa sukari kati ya nchi ya Uingereza na nchi ya Ufaransa ambapo mwanzoni kabisa British au Uingereza ilikuwa inauza sukari yake katika uh, kwa, kwa gharama ya juu sana kwa sababu wenyewe ndio walikuwa wana monopolize katika masuala ya uh, market katika masuala ya soko la sukari wenyewe ndio walikuwa wana zalisha kiwango kikubwa sana. Kwa hiyo wakao wanauza kwa wakao wanauza kwa gharama ya juu sana. Uh, eh, lakini surprisingly in the last quarter of the last quarter of 18th century the French West Indies increased their sugar production on a large scale and sell their sugar very cheap. Uh, mwanzoni Uingereza ilikuwa inadalisha sukari peke yake kwa kiasi kikubwa na ilikuwa inauza kwa bei ya juu sana. Lakini cha kushangaza baadaye uh, Ufaransa kwenye karne ya 18 na yenyewe ikaanza kuzalisha ikaanza kuzalisha sukari kwa kiwango cha juu sana na pia yenyewe ikawa inauza sasa kwa kiwango cha chini. Kwa hiyo sasa Uingereza ikakosa soko alilokuwa nalo pale mwanzoni kwa sababu soko lilikuja kutekwa na Ufaransa ambaye yeye alikuwa anauza kwa bei ya chini. Due to this fact, French took British monopoly on sugar production and sell in America and Europe. This led to the fall of the sugar production in West and Indies. Sasa hii ilifanya Ufaransa akawa ni mtu ambaye anazalisha kiwango kikubwa sana cha sukari na akawa anauza katika nchi za katika mabara ya Amerika na mabara ya Uraya. Kwa hiyo hii kampelekea Uingereza kuweza kukosa market. Hence slaves become useless ndipo ambapo watumwa walikosa kazi ya kufanya the british, the british started the abolition of slave trade by accepting that it will increase the french cost of labor and it will force french to raise the price of sugar and british should retain the monopoly ndipo sasa uingereza baada ya kuona ufaransa amemteka ame katika soko akaamua kulazimisha kwamba watumwa waache ku, kuzalisha kwa sababu ufaransa alikuwa anadhalishwa kutumia watumwa kwa lengo lake ni kwamba watumwa wakiacha ku, kuzalisha Kutu, wakiacha kutumiwa biashara ya watumwa ikikomwa maana yake Ufaransa hatapata wazalishaji tena atakosa soko ili Uingereza endelee ku monopolize uh, market hiyo ilikuwa ni sababu ya pili inayosema the competition of sugar production between British and the French sababu ya tatu iliyopelekea abolition of self trade economic ilikuwa ni the American independence the American independence uhuru wa wa Marekani uhuru wa nchi ya Marekani After American independence in uh, 1776 British lost its production of tobacco sugar and minerals which produced it by using slaves Ikumbuke kwamba Uingereza ilikuwa uh, Marekani ilikuwa inatawaliwa na Uingereza Marekani ilikuwa inatawaliwa na Uingereza Sasa mwaka 1776 Uingereza ndipo ilipokuja kupata uhuru ndipopata uhuru tayari Uingereza ikapoteza uzalishaji wa wa tumbaku uh, sukari pamoja na masuala ya uchimbaji wa madini katika nchi hiyo ya Amerika ambayo ilikuwa ina, inadhalishwa na nini ilikuwa inadhalishwa na watumwa kwa hiyo baada ya kuona hivyo ikabidi ahamasishe kwamba uh, watumwa waache kutumiwa ili yeye aendelee sasa kuwa na nguvu zaidi huko Ulaya This led to the abolition of slave trade because of because American also started to fight against slave trade. Example America abolished slave trade in 1808. Um EPA ilikuja kuchagizwa na Amerika baada ya Amerika kuwa imepata uhuru sasa na yenyewe ikawa inapiga vita uzoaji wa watumwa ambapo Amerika ilipata ilikuja kuondoa kabisa uzoaji wa watumwa mwaka wa 1888 point inasema the american independence the american independence point nyingine ya abolition of trade ni constant strikes constant strikes constant strikes this encouraged the abolition of slave trade because slave revolts made slaves dangerous and very expensive to maintain kukaanza kuwepo kwa migomo pamoja na maandamano riots and strikes kwa kwa migomo ya watumwa. Watumwa wengine wanaojiamini, watumwa wanaojitambua, wakaanza kupinga biashara hii ya ram, wakasema hii sio biashara. Biashara ya kuuza binadamu sio biashara. Hiyo ikapelekea pia kuweza kuabosh slave trade. 
constant riots and strikes constant riots and strikes constant riots and strikes hii ilikuwa ni sababu moja ya kuweza kwa boshi self trade example of revolts include uh, ile ya mwaka 1883 french islands the modern height which distracted industries plantations and killed their masters also revolts occurred in jamaica in 1831 and in bados in 1816 mfano wa migomo na maandamano yaliyotokea ilikuwa ni yule mgomo wa mwaka 1883 uliotokea huko Ufaransa katika kisiwa cha Modern Height ambapo waliharibu wa, 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 sana viwanda au watumwa wakavunja vunja mashamba wakayaharibu pamoja na kuua ma, wale wa uzaji wa watumwa kwa hiyo migomo ili, ilichagiza sana kuweza kuondoa vita kuondoa kuondoa kumladhi kuondoa uh, biashara ya watumwa this affected the capitalist economy and later made european to abolish slave trade point nyingine inasema point 3 maliza inasema constant riots and strikes lakini uh, point nyingine ya tano inasema slaves become expensive slaves become expensive during the 19th century europeans realized that free labor in european industries were cheap and efficient compared to slave labor slave become expensive point inasema slave become expensive na wa, sasa na soko la watumwa na watumwa wakawa wanauzwa kwa bei ya juu sana watumwa wakawa wanauzwa kwa bei ya juu sana kipindi cha karne ya 19 huko bara la ulaya uh, um, ndipo ambapo walitambua kwamba watumwa wa free labor in europe industries were cheap uh, and efficient compared to slave labor wakaja kugundua kwamba uh, wale, wale watu ambao wanajipeleka wenyewe kuweza kufanya kazi viwandani wako cheap zaidi ya wale watumwa wa kununua kwa hiyo wakawa wakaacha biashara ya watumwa ikabidi waanze sasa kutumia wale watu ambao wanajibilika wenyewe viwandani kufanya kazi wakiomba vibarua pasipo kufuasiwa na mtu yeyote kwa hiyo ikaonekana kwamba kumbe watumwa wanaonunuliwa wanaonunua kwa bei ya juu bora wawaache vibarua wajipeleke wenyewe kuweza kufanya kazi ndani ya viwanda vyao also slaves were very expensive in terms of transportation and accommodation Watumwa wakawa watu expensive, wakawa watu wa gali, wa bei juu kwa sababu walikuwa wanasafirishwa kwa gharama kubwa na pia walikuwa wanapewa sehemu ya kulala na chakula kwa gharama kubwa. Ikaonekana kwamba kumbe watumwa hawana maana tena, wanaingiza hasara. Therefore, abolition of slavery become un unacceptable. Point inasema slave become expensive. Watumwa wakawa, wakawa gali wakauzo akawa wanauza kwa bei ya juu sana. Okay, hizo zilikuwa ni economic reason. Economic reason tumezimaliza. Tumesema ya kwanza ni tumesema ya kwanza ni uh, ni industrial revolution in Europe. Ya pili tukasema the competition of sugar production between British and French. Ya tatu tukasema uh, the American independence. Ya nne tukasema constant riots and strikes. Con, uh, ya tano tukasema slaves become expensive. Sasa tuangalie sababu za humanitarian reason ambazo hizo ndio zinasimamiwa na eurocentric view. Zile za economic zinasimamiwa na afrocentric view. Lakini zile za uh, humanitarian reason, reason of humanitarian for abolition of self trade ndio zinasimamiwa na eurocentric view. On the other end, the following are the humanitarian reasons of the abolition of self trade. Sababu ya kwanza ambayo wazungu wanaizungumzia kwamba hichi ndio ilisababisha wenyewe waweze kuacha biashara ya watumwa ilikuwa ni the the evangelical reason the evangelical reason masuala ya kidini issues za kidini the evangelical reason they stated that they stated that all human being are equal and all human being are created by image of god and slave trade were evil which were against the will of god Uh, wakaja kugundua kwamba wakajifanya wamegundua kwamba binadamu wote ni sawa na binadamu wote wameomba kwa mfano wa Mungu. Kwa hiyo wakaona wakaona kwamba kuuza watumwa ni dhambi, kuuza watumwa ni dhambi, kwa hiyo wakaamua kuachana na kumpinga Mungu. Kwa hiyo wakaona kwamba kuuza watumwa ni kumpinga Mungu. Kwa hiyo tunasema the evangelical reason. This made European to send missionaries in Africa in order to stop slave trade and spread Christianity supporters of this Uh, supporters of this reason include Sharp Thomas Clarkson William Liberforce 
Uh, point inasema the evangelical reason kwamba sababu za kidini wakagundua kwamba wanafanya dhambi kuuza watumwa kwa sababu watumwa, watumwa ni binadamu na binadamu ni mm, wameumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu. Kwa hiyo kaonekana kwamba kuuza watumwa ni dhambi ndipo wakagundua kwamba waache kuuza watumwa na kwa watumwa wa missionary kuja Afrika kwa lengo la kuweza kuzuia uuzaji na usafirishaji wa binadamu yani watumwa the evangelical reason point nyingine ambayo wanaisimamia wazungu eurocentric view wanaamini kwamba the role played by intellectual and writers kazi iliyofanywa na wasomi pamoja na waandishi the role played by intellectuals and writers the role played by intellectuals and writers kazi iliyofanywa na wa wasomi pamoja na waandishi mbalimbali wa vitabu na makala these writers helped in the abolition of self trade whereby those writers such as Lossesu insisted European abolish self trade kwamba wasomi na waandishi wengi walisaidia sana kuweza kuondoa uh, biashara ya watumwa also adam smith argued that eard labor was cheaper and more productive than slaves and denial before emphasized the concept of brotherhood and liberty of ends abolition of self trade yes wanazungumza kwamba walikuja kugundua kwamba biashara ya watumwa iko juu zaidi kuliko wale watu wakuja kuwalipa ujira mdogo bora mtu aje umlipe ujira mdogo kuliko kumnunua wakagundua kwamba gharama za kumnunua mtu ni kubwa ukilinganisha na gharama ambazo mtu atakuja umlipe ujira mdogo na kesha aweze kurudi sababu nyingine ya abolition of self trade ni the french revolution the french revolution the french revolution iliyofanyika mwaka 1789 insisted the slogan of fraternity liberty and equality therefore this created an important factor for the abolition of self trade sababu nyingine iliyosababisha kuondolewa kwa vita uh, kuondolewa kwa self trade sorry ilikuwa ni the, the french revolution the french revolution mapinduzi yaliyofanyika huko Ufaransa ya mwaka 1789 ambayo yalihamasisha kwamba lazima kuwepo na uhuru na lazima kuwepo na equality yani usawa kati ya mtu na mtu na hii ikapelekea abolition of self trade hadi kufikia hapo nasema inatosha kwa sasa kukueleza habari za reasons for the abolition of self trade Niombe kama auja subscribe msikilizaji usasahau kusubscribe teacher tz tunakuletea kila kitu ambacho unakitaka wewe kuhusiana masuala ya elimu noti zote zinapatikana hapa usasahau kututembelea na kumtaarifu mtu yeyote yule mdau wa elimu naye akaweze kututembelea na kuweza kusubscribe teacher tz